Hi Poké fans, welcome back to part 12 of my Indigo Dust DLC. In the last episode, we went ahead and saw different things that are actually available now that we have completed the DLC. I was also able to find Latios and catch it as well at the end of last episode. So if you want to find the location for it, just check that episode out. Otherwise, if you have any other Pokemon, I'm actually trying to catch a couple of legendary Pokemons in today's episode. So hopefully I'll be able to show the location for them as well. Now before I do anything, I did actually complete a bit more in my uh, Pokedex. As you can see, it is now at 228 Pokemons. Now this is mostly because of a couple of starter Pokemons that I was able to get from the other games through Pokemon Home. Now I did kind of cheat. I know that we can actually unlock these um, starter Pokemons by using the quests. But that would actually take a long time. So I just went ahead and moved a couple of starter Pokemons that I already owned. There are a few that I still need. Um, I believe it's Tepig and probably Snivy. Those two I'll try and catch once I do open up the biomes. But for now that is all on the Pokedex. But there is one thing in the list and that is parents request. We do have 200 Pokedex entries completed so I'll be taking up that one in the next episode. There we go, it seems like we have got another treat. This one is for Groudon. I also have the treat for Ho-Oh which I was able to get in offline. Um, for that one, don't worry, I have written down the location of where I'll be able to find it. But let me see where we can actually find Groudon here. Now he did mention that it is inside a cave on top of a city. I might know which city this is, but let me quickly go ahead and check out if there are any other treats I'll be able to get from this guy before we make our way back to Palia. Apparently all of these legendary Pokemons are just hanging out in Palia and we, I'm assuming, miss them or they just happen to appear now that we have completed this DLC. Either way, it seems that that is all the quests that I have completed now. So I definitely have to go ahead and complete more quests offline to get more treats. Maybe I'll pick that up in the next episode. Either way, um, let me go into Paldia. I haven't really visited Kitakami after the DLC, so that is something I have on my list. But for now, let me look around. Um, it's definitely this one right here. Yep, half another city. It does have a cave that is right under the city itself. So I believe this is where you'll be able to find Groudon. Let me go ahead and show its location to you all. Here it is. As for the location, it is right next to the uh, wild Terra Umbreon that you'll be able to find in this cave. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll know the location for that, but if you don't know, it's actually right on one of the highest ledges in this cave. Um, it's easier to get here if you go to the entrance from Alphanada city itself. Either way, it's pretty easy to actually find. But the trickier part is actually trying to catch it. Definitely have to be a bit more careful. I did start with Agupon, as you can see thankfully. It's Ivy Cutgill doesn't really take it down in one hit, which is perfect. All I have to do is bring it down to red health once more. But this time I'll be a bit more careful. Low kick really did a lot more damage. Um, I think this is a good time for me to try and catch it. As for the Pokeballs, I was able to buy extra Ultra Balls. So I do have enough to try and catch this one. I'm also wondering if you can actually catch it with a Dusk Ball as we are inside a cave. But I'm not gonna attempt that right now. Let me just try using Ultra Ball. Ooh, right there it was almost gonna get caught. I do get hit by Earthquake but since Agapan is part water and grass type, it really doesn't do that much of a damage. I'm just gonna focus more on trying to catch it. Unfortunately, it did wake up at this point. All I have to do is wait for it to use rest again and then use another move. I would recommend being a bit more careful with Groudon. It does tend to go ahead and use sleep, uh, which is actually pretty 
tricky if you are not careful with your moves but with mine i was able to see which moves did a lot more damage and just use the ones that i was sure would be safe even if it was going to be a crit hit need one more terra blast and all right luckily groudon is still asleep let me quickly go ahead and use a ultra ball hopefully this time it will actually get caught I really didn't have to use any status for this one as it does tend to sleep a lot. It is trying to use fissure. Thankfully, it is um, not really that effective against my Ogre Point. But of course. Alright, there we go. So, we were able to catch Groudon pretty easily. I think I didn't really have to struggle as much as I did for Latios. I must be honest, this is actually the second time I tried catching Ogre Point. Uh, the last time when I used Ivy Cut Girl, it actually became a crit hit and I unfortunately took down Groudon, so I had to reset. But now that we have one of the legendary Pokemon, I'll go ahead and try to find the location for Ho-Oh. Uh, as far as the hint goes, I feel like it's in the other side of the hill that does have a huge waterfalls right next to Alphanada City. So I'm gonna make my way over there. If you're wondering about the exact location, let me quickly point it out right here on the map. So this is where it is, um, right on that small island, the one that looks like an eye. So all you have to do is make your way over there. Alright, here we are. As you can see, ho, -Ho is right on that eye. Um, this is definitely one of the annoyingest birds ever, because this is actually literally my eighth attempt of trying to catch it. Ho oh, oh, here has recover, which it will like to actually use a lot, and it has a couple of powerful moves, uh, mostly fire type. Uh, if you do have a water type Pokemon, I would definitely recommend that. But it's pretty annoying to actually cast this bird. Trust me, I tried so hard, and right here I'm just gonna go with the quick ball for the very first turn. It's always a chance that you can actually catch it, which I did. After struggling for 8 times, apparently I caught it quite away uh, with this quick ball. So definitely try your quick ball out, especially for these legendary Pokemons. I was so tired that I was ready to kind of go ahead and use a master ball for this one. But either way, here we have Ho-Oh. Um, as for a couple of the other legendary Pokemons that you can actually find, I'm pretty sure there are at least 4 more. I'll definitely try to catch them all in the upcoming episodes. But for now, here are both of the Pokemon that I have caught. They both are at level 70. So do be careful if you're using your level 100 Pokemon. You might accidentally, you know, take them down in one hit. Either way, hope you all enjoyed this small episode. If you did, please put a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel as it does help me a lot. If you'd like to support me more on Patreon, check out the links in my description. And I'll see you all in the next one.